Ebony Bell with Metro Weekly, and we're at 18th Street Lounge for Go Proud CPAC event. And we're here to talk to the conservatives and their allies. Who would you uh, like to see be the next Republican presidential nominee? Oh, God, it's so early. It's way too early to make any uh, make any endorsements. I, I, I'm a big fan of Mitch Daniels. I'd love to see him run. Oh, God, Sarah Palin. I love Sarah Palin, yeah. She's just, um, she reminds me of my mom, right? She's just such a middle American, she's like a, a real person. And we haven't had that in American politics since like TR in 19, like 13, whenever that was. And we've had these like Harvard graduated people and look where we are. You know, I, I like John Huntsman a lot. Donald Trump was interesting today. He's not necessarily running. I think there are there are a number of, of uh, I, I think Mike Pence has some very good characteristics, although he is not as friendly on gay rights issues, and, and that's, you know, a drawback. I just don't know. I really don't. We've got a wide open field, lots of great candidates, and the Republican nominating process is kicking off right now at CPAC, and so it's really exciting. The fact is you can't identify any one candidate. That's Everybody wants to find the one, everybody wants to run. Reality is you can't find one. What would you say is the most conservative thing about you? The most conservative thing about me? I'm going to make the outlandish claim that I am the fiscally most conservative governor that has maybe ever served. I don't really like gay people that much. Um, gay people frustrate me, the stereotypical gay people, it, it frustrates me, yeah. Can you give me an example? Um, like, I don't know, just someone who's ex like, who acts like a, like, and puts on a total act. Like, I understand some guys are feminine, which is fine, but some guys who are like, at some point, they're normal, straight acting, whatever, and the next minute they're jumping up and down, they're, it just frustrates me. Like, be, I'm really about, like, the whole conservative thing is just be yourself, be an individual, and just don't be somebody you're not, and if somebody does, does or does not accept you, that's fine, but don't change who you are to, like, you know, look different to others. Well, it's a whole bunch of things, but I believe truly in keeping government limited to a few essential functions, the sort of you know, what the founders intended, the government exists to preserve and protect individual liberties. Once you get beyond those core principles, government can engage in all sorts of mischief and misspend the public's money. I'm in favor of low taxes and small government, so that's something where conservatives and libertarians agree nearly all the time. What is the most conservative thing about you? Uh, my love life, really. I mean, I work a lot and uh, I don't have a love life. No, seriously, uh, I, I'm just a really, I'm a big fiscal hawk. I want, I want less government. We can only afford so much. As much as we like to do, we can only afford so much. In terms of what's most conservative about me, I, look, I'm, I'm an economic conservative, I'm a national security conservative, and frankly, I believe in marriage. I think marriage is a very traditional element. This is not the GoPro, I'm not speaking for GoPro now, I'm only speaking for myself, but I'm on the advisory council of Prop 8 trial, and I believe marriage is a very traditional act, and I support marriage equality. Tonight at the 18th Street Lounge, the gay conservative movement is out and proud. Join us next week for another episode of Outspoken.